Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here, and welcome to the official EA Sports College Football 25 Gameplay Deep Dive. Today's focus is on the exciting new Campus IQ gameplay feature set, which includes the new wear and tear system, player abilities, home field advantage, unique playbooks, and a host of new mechanics that deliver the explosive, fast-paced gameplay unique to college football. Let's get into it. The new wear and tear system changes how you approach every snap. Wear and tear is a progressive player health system that prioritizes strategic substitutions and diverse play calling to keep your players healthy. With wear and tear, every hit matters, but not all hits have the same impact. And a single hit, like a blow to a quarterback's throwing arm, can change everything, just like it can in real life. Every hit scales differently and will have unique effects on a player's performance as damage and fatigue add up over the course of a game. Managing wear and tear is critical to your team's success, both in a single game and over the course of a season. In EA Sports College Football 25, we're introducing both mental and physical player abilities that help separate highly skilled players from untested freshmen. In contrast to the pros where superstar talent is generally balanced across the league, the player abilities in college were designed to showcase the overall discrepancy in player and team skill levels. Physical abilities boost attributes like breaking tackles or can provide protection from wear and tear. Mental abilities enhance intangible traits like leadership, pre-snap clarity at the line of scrimmage, and staying calm under pressure. Here you can see the stadium pulse meter is maxed out, but the visiting quarterback does not have the mental ability, headstrong, which provides resistance to distractions. The visiting quarterback here does have headstrong active, so he can see the field more clearly and will be less prone to mistakes for this play. A player can have up to eight abilities, and they can scale in effectiveness, providing situational advantages throughout a game that ignite the dynamic and unpredictable moments that make college football so exciting. From Tiger Stadium to Happy... Subscribe today to get the latest EA Sports College Football 25 news. Exciting day for college football fans. For the first time since the game's trailer drop and nim depth details about the gameplay features in EA Sports College Football 25 have been made public. Last week, several college football writers and prominent sports gamers were invited to EA headquarters in Orlando for a presentation and a preview of the game. They were given a full breakdown of what went into the game and they learned what's featured in the game and got to take time in actually playing it.
Stadium atmospheres will be incredible. The pageantry, the traditions, the stadium atmospheres of college football set it apart from any other American sport. And College Football 25 is embracing that to the fullest. Each home stadium will have a unique atmosphere in the game, during the gameplay. Their traditions at those stadiums will also be showcased. We will see South Carolina running out to Sandstorm, the Iowa Wave, Penn State's Whiteout. Hopefully, we'll get Mississippi State's Cowbells as well. School Pacific Zones will be played at the appropriate moments during games this game is a celebration of so many things that makes college football special gameplay will be challenging and rewarding each of the 134 schools in the game will have a unique playbook meant to replicate their exact offensive style rather than just a generic play and styles that could be applied to any number of teams there will be formations and plays specific to certain schools there have been some notable changes the passing game has been totally revamped to allow you for a more layered passing, meaning you can adjust how much zip or torque you put on the ball when lofting over defender's head or fitting it into a tight window. The run game has far more dynamic blocking to create for a more realistic rushing style. The audible menu is much more extensive as well. Home field advantage effects will be much greater and your unexperienced players will feel the impacts greatly. Physical and mental fatigue will wear on players throughout the game and in general the game was going to emphasize the differences in between talent of the elite and the title contenders of a struggling roster group five teams essentially some aspects of the gameplay are getting more complex which creates for more challenge but will reward those who can execute plays and manage a game Dynasty mode was the main focus of development. The common refrain from everyone who attended this preview is that Dynasty mode was the top priority for College Football 25. EA's team went all in to create the most immersive Dynasty experience yet. Fans can create custom conferences once again, also full reign over league structure. They can work as both a head coach or a coordinator, and as a head coach, they can hire and fire coordinators and choose a more specific coaching style. Recruiting has been revamped as well to re closely replicate the real life process with both high school and transfer portal players. One of the biggest things simply is that there will be more of a challenge when working to build a smaller program into a contender. In the older games, turning Akron into a national title only took a few seasons, even on the highest difficulty. That won't be the case now. This new dynasty mode creates more of a challenge, but also adds more excitement to the actual dynasty mode. Road to Gory is another beloved game mode that is returning, but it is getting a modernized twist it is seeing some changes you no longer will start at the high school level instead you will create a player and choose which college you will attend this is probably the most controversial news like i said outside of college game day not being featured because many enjoy playing that season of high school and going through the recruiting process so where this road to glory game mode is actually getting the modernized twist comes with the nil deals and the transfer portal once again each school will have the ability to grow your brand with these deals but you'll have to manage between your studies, practicing, and endorsements and exposure, becoming a great player, earning your degree or money all at once. You also have the ability to transfer each year as you attempt to maximize playing your career and earnings. So some of the biggest concern I see about this game is it's a Madden reskin. This is not a Madden reskin. The biggest concern I see from fans is EA will simply take the same Madden game, whether it's Madden 23, Madden 22, dial it up and actually adapt it to these college teams. This game is actually made by legitimate college football fans who love the original NCAA football series, and they went all in to create the game we want to play. So based on what I've seen, based on the details, based on everything, we know that's coming inside this game that I have reported to you guys if you don't like this game it's because you don't like this game college football and Madden have always kind of been synonymous they've always kind of shared similar graphics of course it's going to be built off the same engine because why would you raise resources and money developing a total different engine for the same style of game especially if you own the rights to both so 
with this game being on hiatus for 10 years i am so excited as i've been saying in these last videos we've been in blitz mode uh dropping them so like i said if you're watching this we got the dynasty video dropping today as well as more gameplay details so thank you guys who've watched subscribed who've liked to comment on tiktok on instagram on facebook wherever you are getting these news stories about college football coming back let me know let's talk about it let's continue to build our community till next time king of the podcast casual gamer the contrarian let me know your favorite team in the comments below i'm out